I just remember the Performing Arts Festival being like a magic part of the year. Very fond memories, really good teachers and a good group of peers that I came through with, which I'm very grateful for. My first sort of adventure into the performing arts was actually I think in year nine when I did a dance class and I was like, I don't know what to do for my elective subject. I think a couple of the girls that I maybe had a crush on at the time were, uh, <laughs> were doing dance, so I did dance. And so I followed that tension into the arts. I was a keen singer and when I came to Aramore I, I definitely got engaged in the choir. I thought that was, you know, something that you know, once I sort of started into that performing arts stream, I was like, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm open and, and confident to sort of throw my voice amongst many in the church. I was involved in bands as well as drama stuff as well. So there's just like so many good memories of like evenings, traveling to new schools and performing with the bands or, or doing monologues in front of other students and you know, some like professional industry people, which is always great for a young person. It was like such a thrilling, exciting moment to like find out what you got to play and then the long eight month process of the rehearsals was really good and then as soon as performances and the actual stage shows came out, it was really fun and we were just vibing off each other's energy and it was, yeah, it, it was just a really good experience that I definitely won't forget about. Those extra experiences that the festival offered kind of just gives you more opportunity as a young person to, to figure out what you want to do. It's about putting the show on and it's about the production quality and the value and working with a number of different stakeholders to deliver a product for people to buy tickets and come along and see. So there is actually a professional opportunity there. It is kind of that step up from what you would normally be doing at school. You're representing your school and you want to do well. So it really was a good test of skill and nerves. And I think all those things kind of prepared me for stuff that would happen after school. A City Beach girl who once imagined starring in a world-class musical in her home city will tonight see that dream come true. Lucy Durack is taking centre stage in Wicked. But tonight being opening night is really exciting and it's just so nice to be home and be able to perform to a home crowd. Feed, one of the world's oldest surviving classical ballets. A temptress fairy and a love-struck farmer blinded by infatuation and desire. Having worked on a couple of ABC productions this year, and uh, one of which is the KGB, uh, which is a comedy series based just north of here. If you work hard and try your best, you'll still never be as good as us! <laughs> and recently shot The Heights, which is another ABC series which is in its second season. Now that I'm in the industry, I do auditions all the time for, for theatre and for TV shows. I auditioned for a performing arts school. The audition process for that was nerve-wracking, but as soon as I got out, I was like, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so glad I did it. And then when I got the call from my mum saying that I um, got offered a spot, I like started crying. My cousin was with me and she started crying. It was so funny. It was definitely something that just like pushed me to be better and to like want to do it more and to have that opportunity to go perform at other places. Having that experience in high school of having to do auditions and having to do monologues during the festival for people that you really don't know and that you want to impress kind of gave you some sort of sense of what the real world, the industry might be like. Yeah. A heartfelt thank you um, from me to all those people who helped me through my performing arts journey and one thing that 
I um, really admire in drama teachers is that ability to create a safe space and um, I'm forever grateful for the people that have, uh, have allowed that both behind the camera and on stage for me.